so uh, students uh, in this module we'll be looking at javascript development options what options are there okay and you will be surprised to know that there is lot of flexibility lot of flexibility for javascript development and that flexibility as a matter of fact does not put any limits on what you can do with javascript in terms of development so let's look at the outline of the module limitlessness of javascript so when i discuss into go into more detail you will understand what i mean by limitness lessness of javascript using visual studio 2012 okay uh, that we'll be covering and as you will uh, see that there are other options also now eight main steps for creating your first visual studio application okay or the project eight main steps okay so there can be other steps also so let's look at the limitness of javascript no need for special tools no need for special tools uh what you can do you can use even a text editor you can use a text editor you can use a high end ide in, uh, environment like visual studio you can do that no need for any special server software why because traditionally and most of the cases javascript is running at the client end right so since it's running at the client end therefore the possibilities are limitless the limitless possibilities now let's look at actually hands on working how you are going to make your first project let's look at those eight interesting steps over here you open this all right and you select the empty website language selection change the name to jsbs with the path appropriate click okay and the visual studio creates a new project that is step number 2 now we move on to step number 3 okay visual studio 2012 creates an empty project for you okay empty project for you is really empty with not even much of a default page create a new file by selecting the new file all right a new file and then add new item dialog box opens shown in the following graphics as you can see over here all right visual studio opens a new file and automatically enters the doc type and other starting pieces of an html page for you step 4 and step 5 in for the step 5 i will show you the code also so what we have in index.html page place your cursor between the tags and change the title to my first page change the title to my first page over here your environment should look like the one which you can see over here and in step number 5 what you do in these tags you have to write this okay you have to add the following code now we move on to step number 6 what do we have in step number 6 select save all from the file menu the finished script and page should resemble the screen which you can see over here all right after save all let's move on to the next step so we have step number 7 and we have step number 8 to view the page select the start debugging from the debug menu this starts the asp.net development server if it's already not started and takes you to the page in your default browser you might see a dialog over there okay like the following indicating that the debugging isn't enabled in your web config click okay to dismiss this dialog okay right now you should receive a page with an alert similar to the alert shown over here click okay and then close the browser the script works as follows the first script is opened and declared to the javascript okay and then it is getting executed so this is your first project using the visual studio 2012 that's about it for this module